Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there is no chance of electrocution. Also, be sure to turn off the water to your dishwasher. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the pump seal kit in a Kenmore dishwasher. It's going to be a very easy repair. Should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a Torque 15 and Torque 20 screwdrivers, a quarter inch nut driver, a pair of pliers, a small flat blade screwdriver, and a rust penetrating oil. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new pump seal kit. The pump seal kit is installed inside the pump housing, sealing it and preventing leaks from the pump. If there's a leak from the area right above the motor, the new pump seal kit should be installed. To get to the part, we need to open the door. Pull out the lower dish rack. Unscrew the spray arm nut, turning it counterclockwise and remove it. Pull up and remove the lower spray arm. Remove the bearing. Remove the spray arm bearing. Remove the eight torque 15 screws from the top of the outlet. Pull the outlet to disconnect it from the supply tube. Using the flat blade screwdriver, remove the old pump outlet seal. Clean the seat. You can use a sponge or the screwdriver. Now we need to take off the wash impeller. Hold it with the pliers and using the quarter inch nut driver, unscrew the center screw, turning it counterclockwise. You will have to use some strength because the screw has a thread lock solution on it. Squirt some rust penetration solution in the hole. Give it a few minutes and pull the impeller straight up. Use the pliers. Next, using the Torque 20 screwdriver, remove the four screws and take off the pump filter assembly. Turn it over and remove one shorter Torque 15 screw. Remove the base cover and the inlet base cover seal. Discard the old seal. Using the small flat blade screwdriver, clean the seat. Be careful not to lose the small white plastic check bowl. Remove the cutter and the spring by lifting it off the drain impeller shaft. Use the flat blade screwdriver to pry off the drain cover seal. Using the Torque 15 screwdriver, take one screw out and slowly Lift off the drain impeller cover. There are two white plastic check bolts inside the opening. Be careful not to lose them. Remove the white drain impeller cover gasket. And again, clean the seat around it. You can discard the old gasket. This is the old pump seal kit. Next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from AppliancePartsPros.com. The smallest seal that comes in the kit is not used in our dishwasher model, so you can discard it. Pop two little pieces out to open the holes and place the new white gasket on. Drop one white ball into the opening. Choose which one you like better. Install the new drain cover seal. Install the drain impeller cover in the clean groove and secure it with a Torque 15 screw. 
Place the second white check ball into the opening. Slide the spring into the mounting opening. And install the cutter over the drain impeller with the hook fitting in the notch in the impeller. Let's get back to the pump filter assembly. Make sure the little check ball is in there and place the cover on. Install the new seal onto the drain cover outlet. Secure it with a torque 15 screw. Install the filter assembly on the pump with this side facing the back. Match the holes and secure it with the four torque 20 screws. Install the new wash impeller. Turn it slowly until the shapes will match and slide the impeller down. Using the quarter-inch screw with the rubber seal at the top provided in the kit and the pliers, secure the impeller. Install the new pump outlet seal in the groove in the pump housing. Insert the outlet pump connector into the supply tube as far as it would go. Align the holes and secure it with the eight torque 15 screws. Install the spray arm bearing and the spray arm. Secure it with a spray arm nut by turning it clockwise. Make sure the spray arm rotates freely. Slide the lower dish rack in. Close the door. Turn the water on, plug the dishwasher in, and run it to check for leaks. Hopefully, there is none. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other repair videos available on our site, on Facebook, and on YouTube.